Right guys, I lied. We're back. We're back to watch one more NHL related video and it is the 2018 NHL All-Star Skills Competition Hardest Shot. So I saw puck control, I saw accuracy, I saw um, some skills. But we're not going to watch that today, we're just going to watch this one thing, the hardest shot, because I, I don't know how they're going to measure it. And that's really interesting to me. So let's see. Is Connor McDavid in it? That's what I want to know. Worth two chances each. Hardest shot. Player who records the fastest shot. Two rounds. Oh, they must have like a must have a laser of some sort measuring the speed. Two rounds, two attempts per player. Order of shots for round two is determined by speed, slowest to fastest. Okay. Highest speed on the radar gun wins. Now I afraid he did it with a wooden stick. Fucking Al Burnsy. You look like a local from around here. <laughs> Klingberg, Ovechkin, Subban, Subban, Burns, Stamkos. That white Sherwood that Al yeah. McInnes used was a pretty good weapon in his hands. And now the technology is in favor of the shooters. John Klingberg is the leading scorer in the National Hockey League among defensemen. He's on pace for 60 points this season. Woo. I don't know that he's known around the league for his shot, but his Woo. teammates say it's pretty I good. like the fact that they, they do it in points, which is goals plus, plus assists. I think that's really interesting. Yeah, good. they do, and we'll find out here. Amazingly, in 22 years of competition in this, there's only been eight winners, so that tells you Whoa. how often one player dominates. Shot five times, McInnes seven times. And Weber, the last Hatcher, the last three in a row. What did he say, McGinnis? He won the fastest shot eight times in a row. Marcy McGinnis? Al McGinnis? Marcel McGinnis? <laughs> McGinnis or McGinnis? <laughs> um, McGinnis, fastest shot. The hardest shot, the fastest shot, sorry. All-time record belongs to Zidino Chara at 108.8 .8 miles per hour. And McInnes' fastest shot in any of the eight that he won was 100.4 miles per hour, which they're saying is not very close to today's record. Okay, well I guess if the winner of this competition slaps it at over 100 miles per hour, we're in business. Let's watch. Hey, I'm gonna throw a crazy idea out. Okay, bring Chara back just for this. Isn't that crazy? The fastest pitch in softball is 106 miles per hour, and the fastest shot in hockey is 108 miles per hour. Is that like a, a, a human limit? You know what I mean? Is that, is that a human limit as to how fast an object can actually come out of, you know, either our hand or, or uh, from our foot, or just creating movement with an object? Is that the human limit? 110 miles per hour. Let's see. Why not? Bring McGinnis back for this. <clears throat> bring Al Freight. Al Freighty back for this. Why not? A little competition. Yes. Yeah, sure. Bring Mike Gardner back with Larkin and let's see who wins that. Al said the other day, he said, if I could turn back the clock to when I was 25 and use the new technology. Al McGinnis, they're talking about. Technology, I could shoot a lot harder than I did back in the 90s. There's the first shot for John Klingberg. He's a 96 6. It's interesting that this hardest shot is now Bang! a shot in this competition. What a shot. The shot is one of the least used shots in the game right now. John scored three times. Yeah, I'm actually really surprised. I would have thought that they'd sort of... I wouldn't have thought it'd be a slap shot. I thought it would be like a, you know, where they sort of bring their step back, but they've still got the puck on it, and then they bring it forward with as much force as possible. But let's see. Season with a slap shot. Ovi leads the league with 11 goals for a slap shot, usually a one-timer slap shot. Bang! And isn't it amazing that he's never won this competition? 98.8. Ah, quite get it over that 100 mark. And, you know, there's a lot of debate. Washington right? Capitals. Go on the ice, do you put it a foot off? If you go too high, I think often it gets a little bit slower. And he's looking up on that one. Okay, I'm going to maybe do better my next time. B.K. Subban is going to be the third shooter and down on the bench at an ice level joining us for this competition is Mike. Hey, there he is. What's tougher, playing goal or looking after all those boys? Oh, oh man, it's pretty close. <laughs> <laughs> do you find 
find that goaltending technology has kept I like that one. The shooters technology. Ah, 95. Uh, they keep trying to take our gear away, to be honest. <laughs> they never do that with the sticks, though. I, no, I know. They keep making the sticks better, but they're taking more gear away. That's okay. It's, uh, it's all good. We were just talking about how the slap shot is a disappearing shot in the game. You, the reasons for it, too many... Right, it looks like it should be in the NFL. Yeah, I think it's just <laughs> the time it takes to get it off now. I think guys are blocking more shots now with the new game. and um, I think every team seems like they're getting in lanes and stuff. So I think the, the quicker you can get it to net now, it seems like it's uh, a better option for you. You've seen that shot a few times. Look like at that muffin. <laughs> yeah, you, one of the things about these types of games is... A lot of ribbon goes on, doesn't it? Shot his number. <laughs> he did. I'm assuming that if that... So I've seen in every... Every one of these guys, as they come through, the stick slightly touches, like grazes the ground and then hits the puck. I'm assuming the hardest shot, the most perfect shot, would be one where literally it just was a millimetre away from the ground. It didn't, it didn't graze the ground. Because I'm thinking... I'm thinking if the if the stick hits the ground at all, it's going to take away some of the force. But I don't know. Hey, nice march. Maybe they want to hit the ground because they need to get it underneath the puck slightly to get some some height on it. Oh god. Hey, here's I don't know. I've never done a slap shot, but it looks like he's been slapped in the mouth. Local favorite, Steven Stamkos. And he had a laser beam of a one-timer. He's had a few of them this season, but the other night in Nashville. And here's his. Go Stakos! Skating start and he gets it to 95 too. Man, I think this gun's skewed. You know, you always wonder that, don't you? It's a temperamental little thing. He tried to get a couple of quick strides and hit behind that puck, took a little bit too much off it. My toughest shot for you, who's the player in the league? When it goes to the Raptors, you go, oh, please don't hit me. <laughs> well, I think the new guy now is uh, Line in Winnipeg, obviously. He's a heck of a player, but uh, you know, for a long time it's been Ovechkin. Just uh, the deceptiveness he has with this puck, how, how he holds it back and uses the whip of the stick. It's, it's a real hard shot to read. So through this second round, with just five shooters in this competition, they'll go slowest to fastest, and Brent Burns gets up to 92-4 for his... It's funny, I'm thinking, where have I heard that sound before? And it's in the NHL uh, PS4 game. That literally is exactly the same sound as you as you hear. Very, very lifelike. Hmm. I quite like that sound, actually. What do you make of this new shot in the game that a lot of guys are using now, that off-speed shot where they're not worried about rifling it into the net, just picking a spot? I hate it, to be honest. <laughs> but I think those are the hardest shots to save as a goalie are the ones that... Uh, they look like they're coming in hard and then all I like this guy the best. Either change direction or don't go where the, the shooter wants to shoot it. So and you've got a teammate who's one of the best at it, Matthew Kachuk. Did you do it in practice? All the time. Oh. <laughs> You're a veteran. You should, you should make that uh, eliminate that. No, exactly. Exactly. No, he's a good kid. He's, he, he used it well. He's he's a smart player and uh, he's got rewarded for it. He tried his hardest. Tampa, just wasn't enough. 08 to 11. Any great memories? Sorry, so, Mike. You, you got a great ovation when you were announced. You know what, I, I really enjoyed my time here. There's, there's such good people in this organization that are still here to this day. Obviously, Stan Close and Hedman are, are the only two players that are still here, but um, some of my oh! friends are playing in Tampa here. Really enjoyed Damn, that was close. And, um, got to do that quite a bit when I was here, so um, obviously, the time spent here was was, uh, was awesome. Mike, tell us about your hmm. adjustment to knowing Calgary. The only thing I noticed about that shot is it was slightly lower than most of the other ones. <laughs> I'm sure it's a little bit of a change going back to a Canadian team and having to get off to a good start. How's your adjustment been there? It's pretty. It's been pretty seamless, to be honest. It's, it's been uh, rejuvenating. Um, at this point in my career, when you get older, you, you, uh, you realize that your your chances of winning are diminishing before your eyes. So I think yeah. to go to a team like Calgary that has expectations to win now is is uh, has been a breath of fresh air for me. One more shot, and Obi has already captured his first ever hardest shot competition because his first shot at 98.8. Come on, let's get 100. So he gets it up Boom! To see if he can get to 100, and he does. Oh, yes! <laughs> yes! What a way to finish. Alexander Ovechkin, the winner of the hardest shot competition. Mike, did you get your kids out to this Gasparilla today? Did they all get dressed up as pirates? They did not. They're always, they're always pirates. Yeah. <laughs>
uh, hooligans of the first mm, order. Mike. That was a clean hit, wasn't it? Thanks exactly. a lot for stopping by. Thanks for having me, guys. Take care. Clean. And downstairs, here's David. All right. The, uh, the great eight was the great 98.8 .8 until that final shot. You broke 100. You said that was your goal, Alex. Yeah, I tell the boys I was a little nervous before that, like before the game. So um, happy to get the win. It's nice. It's Russian. So many of your 500 plus goals have come on those one timers. You've had a lot more practice than some of these guys. 500 goals. This guy's a legend, isn't he? And I have no idea who he is. Yeah. Uh, sometimes it's just uh, one timers from the past. Uh, never shot. Uh, never felt like I'm gonna have a like, kind of shot uh, from the standing. Well, you're a showman and you got things done tonight. Congratulations, Alex. Yeah. Thank you. 13 straight. 30 goal seasons, many of the goals scored on a shot just like that. 13 straight 30 goal seasons. I'm thinking a guy like Connor McDavid is going to be like this guy in 10 more years. An absolute legend. Alright guys, that was a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed. I really do. Um, but that is, once and for all, the end of the NHL related videos for today. So with that being said, I'm not going to keep you for any longer than I have to. And I want to wish you a fantastic day, and I will see you on the next one. Peace out, everybody. Okay, I've been working like three jobs. Probably why I never see ya. Probably why I never have time for the fake friends. I won't be ya. Oh God, I've been running now.